Hello everyone, welcome back to Site Saga. Are you looking forward to building a WordPress site without hosting? If so, then stay right here. But before we embark on this journey, let's clear the initial fog. Can you actually build a WordPress website without hosting? The answer is a firm no. But wait, here is the twist. You can bring your vision to life without buying a hosting plan. So. Today, we will explore a unique approach to building a WordPress website without the need for a hosting account. Before we start, let's quickly understand why you might want to build a WordPress site without hosting. Picture this, you are starting a new website. It's definitely going to take some time to plan, design and build it. But if you have to pay for hosting while you are still working on it, that might not be so convenient, right? Hence, to summarize, creating a site without hosting is beneficial when you are developing or revamping a website without wanting to pay extra for hosting services. It gives you a space to work and test things out. Also, if you are low on funds and can't afford hosting, knowing how to build a site without it can be really helpful. So, today we have come up with 4 methods to build a WordPress website without hosting. The first method involves using free website builders like wordpress.com which offers a budget-friendly way to get started without investing in hosting. It means that you get free hosting bundled with the WordPress site builder. So let's look at how to use wordpress.com to build your WordPress website without hosting. The first thing for that, visit the official website of wordpress.com and click on the get started button. Then it will redirect you to the sign up page. Here you can sign up with your Google account as well. Once done, you'll see a page like this. Here click on create your first site option. Following that, it will ask you to choose the domain for your website. For instance, let's add the keyword the sleepet website. Since we are using the free WordPress to create a website, your website address will be suffixed with wordpress.com. So Click on the select button shortly followed by continue option. Following that, it will ask you to choose a WordPress plan according to your requirement. Here, let's select a free plan. Next, you must select one or more goals for your website from the given options. Here, let's choose write and publish. Afterward, click on the continue button. Then, you can give the site title, for instance, example website and tagline to the blog. But these are optional. Once you're done, hit the continue button. Now that you have activated your account and set up your website, it's time for customizing it. There are several options for you to do so. For now, let's go with view designs option. With that, you can explore the designs from various categories and choose the one you like. Here, let's choose bibliophile, which is a free design. Next, you'll get some style options to choose from. So select the one you like or for now, click the continue button. Following that, WordPress post editor page will open up. Now, you can add your first post via start writing option or click on I'm not ready if you want to do it later on. Then, you'll see the launch page. You can quickly click on launch your site or click on Keep for now as you can always launch later once your site is fully ready. In a few moments, you are finally into the WordPress dashboard where you can now add your content, customize your design and make other necessary changes. Likewise, another method involves using local host software. Tools like Local by Flywheel and Jam provide a local web server environment for installing WordPress. It means that these platforms enable your local computer to act as a hosting server. Therefore, you can build and test your WordPress site on your computer without the need for a hosting service. Now, if you prefer local development, Local by Flywheel might be your go-to solution. So let's walk through the steps to create a WordPress site using local. First thing first, go to the official local website and click on the download for free to download the local software. Then you'll be given a prompt to choose your platform and also fill the required details and click on get now option. Shortly, you'll see that the local WPG file is downloaded on your computer. Then you need to launch the downloaded zip file. For that, you need to choose the installation options and click on the next button. Again, choose the file destination and click on the install button. With that, you'll see the prompt box. 
here, click on the finish button. Afterward, you will see the page as shown on the screen. Here, click on the create a new site button. With that, you will see the following page to create a new site. Click on the continue option. Now, give a name to your website. For instance, example website and click on continue option. Next, you need to choose the environment for your website. Here, we go for preferred environment and click on continue option. Following that, add the WordPress username, password that you'll use further. For email, you can keep the same as default or change it and click on add site option. With that, local will automatically install WordPress and set up a local database for you. Now, all you have to do is click on the WP admin to access your WordPress dashboard and you'll see the login page. Now add the username and password that you have set before and here we go. You are now into your WordPress dashboard to do the further changes for your site. Similarly, as mentioned earlier, you can use another local host software Jamp to install WordPress locally without using hosting. For detailed guide, you can check our comprehensive article linked on the screen as well as in our description. Likewise, our next method involves exploring several online WordPress development tools such as InstaWP and TasteWP. These platforms let you launch WordPress sites quickly without the need for buying a hosting plan. Here, they provide a free of cost WordPress development environment for a limited time. But you can also check their paid plans if you want to taste the environment for a longer time. For now, let's quickly check how to create a website using InstaWP. For that, go to official InstaWP website and click on the get started option. Next, you'll be prompted to create an account with the required details. Alternatively, you can simply sign up with a Google account. With that, you are directed to a page to activate InstaWP Pro. But don't worry, on scrolling a little bit down, you just need to activate the option for free account only and click on sign up. Now, you'll see the page as shown on screen. Simply click on the add new site button. Afterward, you'll also see several configuration options. Also, you can simply uncheck the options to keep your website simple. Then, give it a name to your website. For instance, again, example website and hit the create site button. Shortly, after a while, InstaWP will then create your site and give you access to the dashboard, files and database. You can save login credentials for later use via copy link option or just click on the magic login to quickly log into your dashboard. Here on this page, click on continue to shite option and here we go again. You're on your WordPress dashboard. Similarly, if budget constraints are a concern, our next method involves considering free hosting providers like free hosting or hosting or free hosting. While limitations exist, they can be suitable for beginners or those exploring website development without a financial commitment. However, building without hosting comes with some cons such as limited features, restrictions on monetization, and potential security concerns. Hence, these are important aspects to consider if you are going to build a WordPress site without hosting. Nevertheless, building a WordPress website without hosting is indeed possible. Whether you choose WordPress.com, local development tools like local or any other methods, the key is to find what suits your needs and goals. And that's all. Thank you for joining us on this WordPress journey. If you found this guide helpful, share it with others and don't forget to like and subscribe for more insightful content. Until next time, happy WordPress building.